Some people have been queuing here since 4.30 this morning for the national and provincial elections in South Africa. What many consider to be a historic election. We're here with a group of international observers to look at different polling stations today. Here we are the day after the elections in South Africa. It's very exciting. We do not really know the results yet. But I think it is a good time to see what sort of whiskey we believe actually fits with those elections yesterday. And I'm having uh, some colleagues who were here with me uh, to, uh, to observe the elections. We're trying two whiskies this time. We're trying a Baumore from Isle. Uh, one of my favorites is called Darkest. And, uh, well, you will see the color. It is very dark. Um, and we're trying a very special whiskey, more uh, almost experimental whiskey, uh, from the compass box, uh, namely the spice tree. And I'm really curious what my colleagues will think of that. There's Ben from Denmark, and there is uh, his colleague Klaus, who's also from Denmark. And then we have Dirk, who is German and lives in Beirut. And there's Ahmad, who is really Lebanese. And then there's Sanjoy, who is from India. And Wayne, of course, who is from Cape Town, here in South Africa. The election yesterday, in the view of how it could be compared to a drink, whiskey here, that day after, is the, for me that uh, this uh, experience is uh, very spicy. And uh, the, the way I saw the places around Cerveto yesterday was mm, spicy in that sense that uh, uh, you have fire and without fire no smoke is the other one and uh, you always have two legs to walk on you can walk on fire you can see the smoke from the fire and I think the society here uh, has to acknowledge that you need two legs to, to walk on and which whiskey? Which was it? In this whole I, I, I thought I was politician enough to, to, to get through it. So the spicy one and uh, the, the, the smoked one is for me the best mix because it's two legs for me. So, uh, yeah, both. Um, the South African election, which we were absorbing, uh, observing um, the last days, and we were absorbing the elections, which we now absorbed like two bottles of four, two different um, um, whiskies. For me, the election was more like this one, the spice tree, um, because it is a blend of single malls. So um, as just as the election of the South African social structure is not just a single malt, it's a blend of, a, of very rich and, and strong cultures. Choose, I think I will somehow choose the dark one because in many ways there's, there's some dark issues here or there's some things in the, in the future which can be very big challenges for the South African society. 
But on the other hand, and the, on the positive side, it says here that alcohol is addictive, but I think that's the same thing with free and free addictions. I'm the kind of person who prefers whiskey to politics and elections. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe that uh, we've seen, a, as uh, my predecessors have said, we've seen a, a mix of, uh, uh, shall we say, politics and emotions and uh, passions in the elections. And I think that's pretty well summed up in spice. So I think that it's important to choose whiskey over politics, but essentially to make sure that elections are the way to decide how politics runs your life. South African observing a South African election, uh, yesterday I was quite reminded about how diverse our country is. So I chose a blend, the spice tree, which also speaks to the spiciness of South Africans. Um, we fun and interesting people when we want to be. Um, mm. I think also um, it's a much lighter whiskey in terms of colour to the other, which speaks maybe to its youthfulness. And we're a young democracy, mm. 25 years in. We like to vote, that's what I learned yesterday. Mm. We may not know why we're voting. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is a blend. Ideally I should be liking the malt, but I like the blend, and that's maybe because of the youth of my palate. The difference between the whiskey and the elections or the assembly is the same. When you look at the elections in South Africa from, uh, uh, from far away, you think it's just a normal election. Same when you look at the whiskey. But then you take a smell when you approach in the elections, you see the differences. And then when you take a sip and you feel the heatness and you feel how much these people are working and how much it's not easy same as the smokiness of the whiskey so we feel that it's not just a regular whiskey it's not just a regular election it's different it's something for the mind for the smell and for the soul thank you i really like both very much and in the elections i cannot really say that i like both or all political parties um, so one is one is forced forced to make a choice so if I have to choose, um, I go for the, for the smoky one. Uh, it's a winter whiskey, we're approaching winter in South Africa. Um, it's smoky and it has, I think, slightly more mysterious uh, taste than the other one. Um, and that's very true for South African politics as well. There is a bit of mystery around the mystery. It's a bit of mystery. We are very anxious. We are very anxious.